so so far we have seen how vor ground transmitter works two signal reference and variable both are received depending upon position of the aircraft in the cockpit we have a tuning unit where you tune the frequency whatever and then you have indicator irrespective of the aircraft you fly the basic element or the component of that indicator remains same whether you fly your cessna or you fly any big aircraft the names are here and there like if we are ground transmitter same ground transmitter can be used by v by cessna same can use uh, 380 it's like that so nothing changes other than the display and the position and the different names now let's see what are the three elements of this indicator hello ladies and gentlemen your captain speaking from flight deck my name is captain surender singh welcome aboard the plane talking sit back relax and enjoy your journey now depending upon the aircraft display and things that's how a basic vor indicator looks like like i told you this is your tuning unit where you tune the frequency you can see here 11.7 or 115.7 the frequency is tuned you tune the frequency if the ground station is transmitting you will start receiving the signal and then you are all set to use it the way you want so in basic indicator looks like this there are three elements of this basic indicator the first is you can see a pointer and then there is a knob here in the cockpit correct so the three elements of a vor indicator are the first is obs knob this obs stands for omni bearing selector omni means all 360 degree bearing means whatever direction you want to select or the track which you want to fly in bigger aircraft it is referred as when you fly course selection knob you fly all those glass cockpit big aircraft they don't call it obs they call it course so you'll find a knob which is written as course and if you fly cessna it is written as obs there is no difference so when you rotate this obs this dial kind of thing is there 360 degree when you rotate this this whole thing rotate and whatever you see on the top that you can select the track which you want to fly with respect to the ground station are you understanding now in this what you have selected 000 you can rotate it to 045 030 so in a basic cessna you may be having a display like this in glass cockpit when you have this knob you select it you feed the the reading in a digital way 000 360 0. so when you rotate it clockwise anti clockwise that's how you can select it the equipment doesn't change score selection knob or obs omni bearing selector knob the second part is you can see there something is a pointer kind of thing this is referred as cdi stands for course deviation course deviation indicator course means track this is what you want to fly you can select and how much you are deviated from that course deviation so either it will tell you go to the left or you go to the right clear on this course deviation indicator the third part is what is written here from the third component or element of this indicator is this two from indicator either it shows from or it will show to either it shows to 
or it shows from so it is a magnetic flag kind of thing so either it is showing to or it is showing to from indicator so these are the three elements of indicator view or indicator core selection knob or obs omni bearing selector what do you want to fly so whatever you want to fly you can select here either air or a window or a digital display course deviation indicator how much you are deviated so either it in this case is showing you to left fly left or fly right indication either you go to the left or right if you are correct you are flying on the selected track then how it will show it will show any guess it will show you like this if you are on the selected track this will be centered now in this case what it is showing you it is telling you go to fly left indication so it gives you what side what side what side you should go and the third is two from indicator any guess two from indicator what could be the purpose of this yes yeah the two from indicator okay it does not shows you whether you are going towards or away from the vr two doesn't mean you are going towards from doesn't mean it is going from so two from indicator does not give you whether aircraft is going towards or away from the station we will see how it shows it depends upon what where the aircraft is and what is the your obs selection we will see that so we have you can select whatever track with respect to the station which you want to fly 000 045 you have obs knob or core selection knob you rotate it and select it then you have cdi which moves left and right and now there are certain dots in this indicator now this pointer moves either left or right and then you have two from indicator which does not show whether you are going towards or away from the station now the cdi will tell you either go to left or go to right maximum deviation or the full deviation of full deviation of cdi to either side corresponds to you are deviated by plus minus 10 degree or more means if you showing to one side you are deviated by 10 degree whatever the track which you want to fly so earlier they used to be five uh, four dot indicator and five dot indicator now in smaller aircraft normal conventional aeroplane you have five dot indicator and if you fly bigger aeroplane in that you have only half or full deflection but a standard indicator is got five dot indicator so this is how many how many dots this is five dot indicator the edge of the circle corresponds to one dot in many time you have a question where this picture is shown or something so are you understanding if this edge of the circle corresponds to one dot otherwise it is a five dot indicator so on like i said earlier it used to be four and five now we have standard is five so on five dot indicator each dot will correspond how much 10 divided by 5 it is 2 degree per dot how much you are deviated 2 4 6 whatever degree the line which you want to fly the radial which you want to fly earlier okay which were there four dot not anymore but just for theoretical purpose if it was a four dot indicator then it is 10 divided by 4 so it would be this is standard in bigger aircraft now either you have half or full something like that clear on this deviation part of 
practical use of this equipment. You tune the frequency, there is a ground station, you start receiving the signal and this thing starts working. How we use it? See that. So, we have OBS, Omni Bearing Selector. Any of the 360 track which you want to fly with respect to the station can be selected. So, let us say if I want a track of 045 or in this what we saw was OBS how much it was? 000 north. Now, what is the meaning of 000 north means imagine any station Delhi or whatever you want to imagine you are flying a track of northbound 000 north 090 is east with respect to that station south whichever way. So, let us say I select OBS for example, 045, 045 means what? If this is a ground station, that 045 track is which? Northeast. So, 045 would track will either will take you to the station or will take you away from the station. Is there any line you can think OBS or 045 with respect to the station? There can be no other line. If you say OBS 270, so 270 track is what? Westbound. So, if this is a station and you are flying a track westbound, either this westbound track will take you away from the station or westbound track will take you towards, towards the station. No other possibility. Now, in that example, the indicator which we saw OBS was 000, means if this is the station. 000 track will take you either 00 is what north. So, either the track will take you away from the station or it will take you any other line you can think of. No, it cannot be. You rotate it OBS 000, we want to fly this track. Now, either it can take you to the station or it can be away from station. So, that is your OBS selection or simply or simply when you have rotated that OBS 0 0 in your receiver, you have selection a phase difference which you are looking for. Phase difference could be either here if you are phase difference will be 0 0 0 and here it will be 1 8 0. Imagine with respect to station, do not look at it, it just in your mind you imagine there is a station and you want to fly a track of 1 8 0 or oh, sorry there is a station with respect to that you want to fly a track of 0 0 and phase difference you are receiving is how much 1 8 0. Where are you? You are south of the station and if you are receiving 0 0 0 you are north of the station. So, that is what you selected. So, either you are looking for. So, what in your receiver you have set that you are receiving a phase difference of either 1 8 0 or if you are at 1 8 0 means you are south of the base. If you are receiving 0 0 0 you are north of the base. So, that is what the equipment will sense. Now, if you are exactly you are receiving phase difference of 1 8 0. So, where are you with respect to the station? You are on the. So, if you are on the south 0 0 track will take you where? To the station. Similarly, if you are receiving phase difference of 0 0 0. Are you understanding? If the aircraft is here what phase difference you will receive? You will receive a phase difference of 360 means you are north of the station whatever it is you are receiving a phase difference of 180 and 360 track will take you where you are south of the station and you are flying a track of 00 it will take you to the station forget about this think like a pilot you are south of the station and you are flying a track of 360 it will take you to the station in if you are north of the station 000 and the track of 00 will take you where away from the station that is how this indicator is what practically it happens. So, if you are here it will show you 2 here it will show you from that is what indication has generated your OBS is 360 and you are receiving a phase difference of 000, 000 means you are north of the station and that 00 track will take you away from the station your OBS selection is 000, 000 but you are receiving a phase difference of 
180 that will take track will take you to the station cdi will be centered here yes cdi will be centered because what you have selected you are on that track now let's see if i'm here you are receiving phase difference about 2 to 5 or something correct so with respect to a station 2 to 5 is on the south you are still in two sector are you understanding any phase difference below this is south any phase difference above this you are north make sense so if you are above this any track of 0 0 0 will take you away from station any track below this of 0 0 0 will take you towards the station so here two from will show you so equipment is just working on comparing the phase difference here you are receiving a phase difference of 2 to 5 correct so 2 to 5 is now the equipment knows 2 to 5 is yes you are in the south you are in cell in two sector what you have selected 0 0 0 so obviously the desired path track is on your right you are in the south but is on the 0 0 0 so 2 from will show you 2 and this will give you fly right go to the right correct as a pilot if you want to because you selected OBS so what you will do you will come here and then follow this track it is fun trust me people are scared of these things because somewhere wrong in understanding in the working uh, it is very simple any if you are south of the base Delhi ke agar south mein ho, what phase difference you will receive anything from 091 to 269 correct if you are north you will receive this phase difference because you have selected for this ye to change hota na, phase difference to now let's say if you are here you will receive phase difference of maybe 135 145 something like this and you are still basically south of the base so two from will show you what two correct and two from will show oh sorry two and it will tell you which side you have to turn if you want to it will tell you fly left clear on this let's see if a count is here what phase difference you will listen north wall of phase anything you are north of the base 315 whatever it will be more than 270 here it will be anything from 270 to 000 so practically let's say if i was here it will show 22222 two, 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 two. when you cross over what will happen it will change over to from so here if the aircraft is flying like this two from will show you from because you are receiving phase difference of more than 270 which shows you are north of the base and you are OBS is 360 and this track will take you away from the station so two from will show from correct and CDI fly right and if you are here what will happen again from because you are receiving north only phase difference so it is fly left so let's say if i was only flying here it will be two two fly right fly right somewhere in between it will change over from depending upon your distance there is no exact line it will flicker something here and then it will change over to from that's what it happens that's how these indications are okay now comes let's say my OBS is same any doubt on this how it works it just measures the phase difference any phase difference let's say with respect to OBS here will take you away from station this will take you to now it measures how much it is whether you are south north left right so that's how these sectors are made north south left right that's how these sectors are now my favorite part comes here now what the OBS is same the OBS you have not changed OBS is how much that OBS is same 0 0 
zero. So two from will show you from CDI fly left to right. You are like this. Oh, sorry. Earlier everything is same. You are here like this. You get it? So it will show you fly. And two from will show. Tell me one thing. What phase difference you are receiving here? Roughly, approximately two to five. Correct? Genius, intelligent people all together in one class. So you are receiving a phase difference of two to five. Tell me one thing: whether you are like this, or like this, or like this, or like this, will your phase difference change? Then my indication should change. Indication: Your equipment works on principle of phase difference and your OBS selection. And if you are here, you are receiving two, whatever phase difference, two to five, which senses you are south of the base. It this track of zero 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 will take you to the station. Now, whether you are like this or you are like this, is there any difference in the phase? The cell you are receiving the phase difference of two to five. So, does it matter? So, two from will show you. What? Two from will show you, and CDI. Why CDI should change? Is there any difference in the phase? So instead of this, if I have done like this, will your indication change? So it will still show you and fly right. But which side you have to turn? Gaz of confusion. Eh? You are flying like this. It is showing you to and fly. But which side you will turn? So two from doesn't show you whether you are going towards or away from station. I can see the faces. She क्या चीज बना दी? वो कह रहा है two but आप जा away रहे हो. Okay, let's see here. Now tell me, two from will show and CDI. Fly, light career. <laughs> fly left wing light. Huh? Fly, left. Fly, left. And which side you will turn? He is telling you fly left. What I will turn right. So yeah, you are right. So it means you have understood. Two from will show two, and it will. Is there any difference? In your indication, no. It can't be that difficult. Let's remember that. Now, but you are going towards the station because the phase difference doesn't change. So two from will show CDI fly light again. Fly light. Fly left. Which side you will turn? It will still tell you fly right, but which side you will turn? Left. Now there is only one last one, left. CDI fly, but which side you have to turn? No change. Now how use this equipment? If it is telling you two, but you may not be two. It may be showing from, but you may not be from. Okay, now the most important learning: look at all yellow aircraft and your OBS. All yellow aircraft and OBS. They are in which heading? Aircraft, all yellow. And what is your OBS? 
zero zero zero. Look at all blue aircrafts. That is the heading of the aircraft. One eight zero, and the OBS is. Here comes the catch. Now the not the catch. The understanding of this whole subject is if you are in two sector and flying towards station means your heading and obs are in same direction correct all yellow aircraft make sense you are in two sector and flying towards station so that we refer it as correct sensing it refers as correct sensing logic is you are in two sector you are flying towards the station it is correct sensing and you just follow your cdi look at those yellow aircraft it is telling you fly right you go to right it is showing left go to left look here you are in from sector here yellow aircraft only yellow you are in from sector and you are flying away from station logical you are in from sector and going away means correct sensing so what this all yellow aircraft are doing you follow cdi if it is telling you right go right go left now look at all those blue aircrafts you are in two sector blue aircraft but you are flying away from station blue correct all this blue aircraft you are in two sector but you are flying away this is opposite you have selected obs something and you are flying in the opposite direction so that we call it reverse sensing and that you go opposite to how you will know whether it is a correct or reverse sensing look at your obs look at your heading if they are in the same direction it is it can't be rocket science it can't be two people sitting in the cockpit is correct hai here reverse side it can't be it has to be look at it and you know it is correct or reverse sensing probably as a pilot you would always like to have correct sensing but many time it happens when you do tracking with respect to we or particularly during learning phase when they teach you what is correct sensing or reverse sensing america also it is called reverse sensing only now what is reverse sensing in exam the question is the reverse sensing is when your heading is opposite to obs i wrote it reverse sensing when heading is opposite to obs when you say reverse sensing it is your heading is opposite to obs or obs is opposite to heading as a pilot you would always like to have correct sensing but like like i said many time you want to track out or something which you want to do for the reverse sensing also okay so here look at that blue aircraft you are in from sector and you are going towards station so it is opposite so it is reverse sensing so what you will go opposite to cdi so in this indicator either you have a correct sensing or reverse sensing nothing else as a pilot you know whether you have to follow cdi or you have to go opposite heading is opposite to or it is the same thing so don't tell me after the exam oh no question ajeeb sa tha usme tha obs is opposite to heading i happy that everybody understood it is clear on this this indication on working of uh, vor people find it very difficult like i said the thing which you are using in cockpit it can never be difficult it should be very conventional very simple easy to understand so either these indications are based on two from or the particular two from or whatever these indications are based on 
whether it is a correct sensing or reverse sensing. With this, we have seen working of VOR, how we use in the cockpit. In the next class, we will see the various error and the practical use of VOR. Till then, stay tuned. See you in the next class. This is your captain, Surinder Singh. Thank you.